The National Task Force Dinner, Red, White, and You, puts election front and center. The National LGBTQ Task Force Gala is the premier annual celebration of South Florida's LGBTQ plus community. The gala is a night for LGBTQ plus people and their supporters to unite, honor community heroes, and advance equality. The National LGBTQ Task Force produces the event. In addition to funding the work of the task force, the gala also benefits numerous organizations serving the South Florida LGBTQ plus community. The gala is a key fundraiser supporting the social justice work of the National LGBTQ Task Force. People honored at the gala have included Lieutenant Dan Choi, Eileen Chaikin, uh, Julian Bond, and former Star Trek favorite George Takai. In 2006, even former President Bill Clinton uh, stopped by for a visit. National Task Force Dinner was created to pay tribute to the community leaders, allies, and organizations that fight for LGBTQ people through their leadership, advocacy, and action. Past honorees have included Bella Abzug, Ted Kennedy, Coretta Scott King, and uh, Equality Fairfax, Margaret Cho, John Waters, Tammy Baldwin, and more. 2022's special recipient will be NBC's Jonathan Capehart. The National LGBTQ Task Force Gala is the only annual dinner held by the task force, and this year's gala will be held on October 22nd at 6.30 p.m. at the Miami Beach Convention Center. There is a special after party that will feature great music and the drag sensation Athena Dion. The National Task Force is one of America's most important civil rights organizations. The tickets are available now at the taskforcegala.org. And I understand as of today, uh, we're um, just right at about a month away. Uh, about 75% of all of the tickets are already sold. That's right. We're less than 30 days away. We're super excited for it. The, this year's funds raised are going to benefit the National LGBTQ, LGBTQ Task Force's Queer the Vote Initiative, which seeks to educate uh, LGBTQ voters and their supporters and get out the vote. Uh, and a significant portion of the funds are also going to be donated to the LGBTQ Plus Equity Fund, which is a new joint partner partnership between the National LGBTQ Task Force, our fund foundation, and the Miami Foundation. Yeah. And I'm really proud to say that um, as of this year, no, 26 years, between the Task Force Gala and our partner, uh, or our sister um, event, Winter Party Festival, we have donated more than $3.3 million oh, back to okay. LGBTQ organizations in South Florida. Ryan, before, uh, before uh, we move on, uh, make sure that you explain to everybody, because they might not be completely clear of this unique partnership between the National Task Force, our fund, and the Miami uh, Community Foundation. Explain uh, what it's designed to do and what it will accomplish. Absolutely. So what it's designed to do, uh, it's a first of its kind partnership um, that we just launched this year. It's designed to support local LGBTQ organizations that are supporting um, the South Florida LGBTQ community that might not have access to the resources that a national organization like the task force does. Man, it's awesome. Uh, anyone been to the task force? Yeah, no, I have. Yeah, I've been uh, two or three, two times definitely, maybe yeah. three. I don't remember, yeah. you know, because I drank so much. Yeah, I, I don't remember where There's I was. There's the advocacy. There's the advocacy. Need, right? I do, exactly. Actually, it has been three times because I had a waiter who refused to serve me. He served everyone else at the table on every course but yes. me. And it was bitter, like, in the bitter room. party of one. Yes, <laughs> why is ready? You oh thought I bought God. a discount ticket for the way I was treated <laughs> that year, but no, I absolutely love that event. Yeah. It is so well done, and last year was fantastic. Yeah. So I'm looking the forward to going. The value of the dinner is just simply amazing. Uh, we participated last year, Hotspots Magazine and Happening Out. Uh, we're very excited to announce that we're, uh, we're participating in sponsorship of the National Task Force Dinner. Uh, the, the cocktail party before the dinner, uh, we're going to be doing red carpet and we're going to do interviews with people, help uh, create uh, interviews uh, that can be used in the last days before going into the election to say, it's time for you to get out to vote. And we're also very excited. This is uh, breaking news because we haven't announced it out loud yet. Um, we are going to be doing a special broadcast of Queer News Tonight at the National Task Force oh, Dinner. So, wonderful. so oh, the, wow. this entire show we're doing right now is going to be coming from the Miami Beach Convention Center in support of uh, the incredible mission of the National LGBT. I did have a question for Ryan. 
because a, a lot of the effort is going towards elections. And I remember having a conversation with SAVE that, that we have so many people registered, but how do we activate them to go vote in the LGBTQ community? That trying to get people registered isn't the issue anymore. It's actually, how do we get them out there, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think one of the issues is getting people excited and motivated mm -hmm. um, to vote and realize that they that their vote actually has power, that they have a voice and that it actually makes a difference. I think we're seeing that uh, in our current climate throughout here in South Florida, that when LGBTQ people don't show up and don't use their, fa their power and their voice, bad things happen. So is that what you're finding, that there's a lackluster in our community? Do you feel like people just think, oh, what's the point because it's not going to really count? Is that what you're finding? You know, it's hard to say what, mm -hmm. you know, why people choose not to vote, but... You I know. can't imagine not having enough motivation yeah. After what DeSantis has been doing over the past couple of years, I mean, this don't say gay and you know, shutting Peter, down a direct... Your mouth to God's ear, yeah. because that's exactly the moment. It must be so frustrating for the National Task Force, for Equality Florida, for SAFE, for our advocacy organizations, because that's exactly what's going on. There is an, there is an apathy that in the course of uh, the move uh, into the national dinner on October 22nd at Miami Beach Convention Center to the election on November 8th. I think that the branding is absolutely on point. Red, white, and you, because you are the decision maker. I remind everybody, there's lots of statistics that show that if Broward County, for example, increased their voter turnout over 20 by 2%, Val Demings wins and oh. Charlie Chris wins. 2% right. is the turnout. Wow. LGBT is the turnout percentage to win the elections. It's just a question of whether we will or not. And I think that we've done a bad job of explaining why a local politician is important to support even if he's not in your district. Because it's about having a voice in our state capital. It's about having a voice in the nation. So if we, if we look at it and say, all right, so you don't think this is important because how does it affect me? It absolutely affects you when we don't have representation. Mm -hmm. If there's no representation in Tallahassee, yes, you know, there's right. no one speaking our voice, whether we win or not, there's at least no ally advocating for us. So it's right. so important. You know, I get out and vote. I don't care. They can look at me sideways, whatever. I know how important voting is and I show up. You know, because it's it's so important, especially to our community now yeah. with what's going on, you yeah. know. So the work you do, your organization, it's just wonderful. Yeah. And hopefully my, one of my favorite change. comedians is um, Kathleen Madigan, who's brilliant. brilliant. Okay? And she talks about this. She said, you know, I think people would be more apt to vote if they made it easier where you, you didn't have to get off off your couch. You know, you just get your <laughs> cell phone and <laughs> vote right from your couch while you're, you know, watching Watching or Netflix. they do, like in other places, if you're a Kiwi in New Zealand or an, Oz, an Aussie you in Australia, if you don't vote, you pay oh, a fee. Uh, a fee. So oh my God! Or you pay a fee. Oh, the turnout. Wow! Australia, right, and the turnout in Australia is in the ninety percentile. Get them in their uh, pocket. Yeah, Don't get out to vote. Yeah, One last thought b before we move on. Um, one of the reasons why, uh, especially if you, in our voice, if you're able to be here in South Florida, that you want to go to this uh, dinner and to to our LGB. We have a giant LGBTQ uh, community here in South Florida. Uh, the reason we want to especially support this event of the National Dinner is we're so fortunate with our national organizations. GLAAD in Los Angeles, the HRC in Washington, the National LGB the LGBT National Task Force is based here. It's a national organization, but it's based here in South Florida. So you're supporting not only the national movement of our community, but also our local community. Yeah. So you're getting a buy one, get one free when you participate and you contribute. So make sure you're at that dinner October 22nd or <clears throat> participate in some way to help the National Task Force or at the minimum support the task force by getting out to vote on November 8th. Any of those choices, we all win. Absolutely. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.